Hey guys, welcome back to Startup Central. In today's video, we're going to be discussing a number of airdrops, one of which is uh, coming from the StarkNet blockchain. And by the way, if you have not checked if you got that airdrop, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. Then we're going to be talking about two major airdrops on the Cosmos chain. So I hope this is information that is useful to you. And I hope that you are really getting benefits from watching this type of content on Startup Central. So without further ado, let's get started. So guys, the StarkNet airdrop was much awaited and finally it happened. Now, in order to qualify for this airdrop, you had to be farming it back in 2023 and not even by the end of the year. I think the cutout, the uh, cutoff was around sometime between October and November of that year. Nevertheless, guys, it is worth checking whether you got that airdrop and it's quite easy. All you have to do is go to their website, enter your web, uh, your wallet address, and then it will tell you. So I'm going to show you my browser so you can actually follow along and check if that is something you got. So here we are. I'm going to actually leave the link on the description of this video. Guys, make sure you just, just don't Google these places because there's a ton of phishing sites trying to get your money, get your wallet, get all the tokens you have in that wallet. So uh, I have actually seen a lot of uh, fake projects advertising on Google. So they are in the search results of Google and even YouTube. I mean, have you seen all those uh, AI videos saying that uh, they represent even Elon Musk and Bill Gates? They have Michael Saylor talking with, of course, uh, not entirely credible AI, but uh, they are trying to get your crypto. So all of these sites, I mean, I'm going to leave the, the links in the description of these videos. Uh, there's more ways to get into those links. You could actually look for them on CoinMarketCap, etc. But just don't Google them, guys. I don't want you to lose your money. I was very tempted the other day on clicking on a claim airdrop phishing site, uh, but something smelled fishy. And when I double checked, it was a fake site. And if I had connected my wallet to that site, my account would have been drained. So uh, that's one main advice because it's it's increasing. I don't know how they're getting through Google's uh, rules, but they are guys. So uh, here we are. This is StartNet. Uh, the website is provisions.startnet.io. Again, the links in the description of this video. And all you have to do is connect your StarkNet wallet. So if you haven't been mining StarkNet, then you can skip this part. Otherwise, uh, you could actually place your wallet address here. This is my preferred way, just in case uh, the website I'm accessing is fake. So I would just paste my wallet address here and go. Uh, some airdrops allow you to do this. Some airdrops allow, uh, ask you to connect your wallet. So this is what you would do. Once you click here, it will verify whether you qualified for, for this airdrop and it will tell you how much you got. Now they have not sent the tokens because the StarkNet token STRK has not been published yet. Uh, by the way, if you are interested in buying the StarkNet token, um, when there is a token generation event or an ICO, the price will just pump a lot and then will dump. So uh, I would hold, and this is not financial advice and I'm not a financial advisor, but I would hold a little bit until I buy because there's going to be a big pump. So if you're already holding the tokens pre-listing, then that's fine. And you can try to you know get a fair price for your tokens. Otherwise, uh, if you want to buy them with if you didn't get any in, in this uh, airdrop, which is my case, uh, then just hold a bit. That might be a better idea. So um, that's all I need to say about starting. I did not get uh, the token airdrop because I did not participate with this blockchain before the cutoff date. So let's close this window. Now let's go with the other one. Nostra, this is one of the main protocols in StarkNet. And Nostra is actually already announcing their airdrop. So all you have to do, guys, is send funds to StarkNet. And you can do that via Bybit. Now, at the time of the recording the video, the gas token of StarkNet still if it might be changing to STRK. Uh, I'm still not um, aware of whether that's going to be happening, but most likely that will. So at the current recording of this uh, video, all you have to do is send some ETH to uh, the wallet. So you can use any 
a wallet that um, works on that blockchain. And I'm using Argent X, so uh, that's my favorite. There, the other one is Bravos. Uh, both both of them could work. So to get into Nostra, they you know that that seems to be the fashion this time of the year. They're using points. So I'm gonna show you. I'm actually gonna connect my wallet and show you uh, the point system here. So as you can see, I'm already connected. I'm gonna click on points, and on points. Uh, Basically, it's the same as Marginfy. You lend them or borrow tokens, and depending on what you're lending and the time you leave it there is the number of points you're getting. So as you can see, I am in like the upper 27% of the people staking here, and I'm not even staking that much, guys. I started staking $90 uh, probably some two weeks ago, three weeks ago, uh, and that got me where I am. I stake a little bit of ETH yesterday to increase my position. And uh, of course, uh, you can actually refer people. So I'm going to place my referral link also in the description of this video. If you are interested in qualifying for this airdrop, I would very much appreciate if you can click on that link and we'll both getting, be getting more points. So what you have to do here in Nostra is very, very, very easy. Uh, you can swap, and uh, I'm not sure if that will qualify you, but I understand that uh, the thing that qualifies you the most is uh, lending. So you can either use these pools, like this one where you would uh, send USDC and USDT, and it will, this actually will boost your points, as you can see here. So by providing USDC, USDT, that liquidity, you would be getting a little bit more points. Uh, I'm not going to show you exactly how to do that in this video because I'm assuming that by having watched all those other previous videos you would already know. What I'm going to show you is the easiest way to do that and this is by lending or borrowing. So let's assume you want to lend USDC. You have some APY, so currently USDC they're paying you 4.24% and USDT 5.6, which is not bad guys. I mean, um, DAI yesterday was around 8%. So um, the APYs are okay. I mean, that's I've seen better in crypto, but they're fine. And of course, I think that the more handsome pay will be this airdrop. So um, all you have to do is click on the asset you want to lend to and uh, write down the number of tokens you want to lend. So let's assume you have 1,000 DAI over here. You just enter the amount. Uh, you could, I know, click here on enable lending and enable collateral if you're going to borrow against that and then click on deposit. Once you have done that, you have already lent uh, money on Nostra and that will qualify. Now, if you got the Stark token, this is one place where you can actually stake that airdrop and this is going to, that airdrop by itself is going to bring you a second airdrop, which of course is in this protocol. Um, you could actually borrow money if that's something you're interested in. Um, in case of uh, Nostra, they have not specified whether you'll be getting more points by borrowing. All you have to do is click on borrow um, and you would need to have some collateral. First, so first you need to deposit in order to get the lend or, or to lend the other token. That's basically it with Nostra. They have not uh, announced yet when they are airdropping but we all believe it's going to be kind of soon, uh, probably the beginning of quarter two. So that's my assumption, guys. Don't take this as law, but that's what I'm guessing. So again, if you have some tokens lying around, even your StarkNet airdrop, I would actually place them here and that would qualify you for that airdrop. Now let's go with another airdrop and this is already in the Cosmo chain. Now this is called Nibiru and uh, they have also announced their airdrop and what you need to do in order to start qualifying is connect your Twitter, your wallet and link your Twitter to wallet through their website. Now Nibiru is a new kind of new blockchain on the Cosmos ecosystem and uh, right now it's quite easy to do these tasks. So I'm going to show you. As you can see, I've already connected my Twitter and uh, linked my wallet. I'm not connected yet, so I'm going to click on Connect Wallet. For this, you need to use 
either Kepler or Leap as your wallet. If you have that um, already installed, then you're golden. Otherwise, just go ahead and install those. You need to send some tokens to those wallets. Uh, and it could be to any of the Cosmos ecosystem chain uh, wallets. Sorry, not wallets, chains. So right now I'm gonna just log in with my wallet. As you can see, I was already assigned a wallet address but just by connecting here. So all I, all I had to do is connect my um, Kepler wallet, have some Atom over there. So it could be three for Atom, which would be like what, like $30. You don't need to use that money. You could actually, I would actually send those Atom to stake on Atom. And tomorrow I'm going to be doing a video on how to qualify for Cosmos chain airdrops but these two i'm going to be discussing today are a little bit different than the, your standard cosmos chain airdrop so um all you have to do is click here it will open your twitter page and it will ask you if you can authorize nibiru to connect to your chain to your address then of course by connecting your wallet you are already fulfilling this part and then you can click here and you will have connected both that's basically what you need to do right now there are some tasks that uh, were added recently and they will assign you a number of points and basically guys is retweeting a tweet liking a tweet i mean it's it's really really easy uh, and performing gleam tasks so if you have ever done gleam tasks they're kind of a galaxy like a very primitive galaxy and uh, they say that they will be checking this manually so all the tasks over here, they will be automatically added to your points. So as you can see, I have a little bit over 10,000 points. Uh, I have done the Gleam tasks and by doing them, it might take uh, about a week for them to add them to your uh, score. So that's it uh, for this airdrop. And um, I believe that Nibiru will be a really interesting airdrop. So let's go to another really, really interesting airdrop, which is uh, Milky Way. Now you probably have heard about Milky Way before and this is a protocol where you can actually stake your TIA tokens. Now TIA tokens staking them on a validator, on a regular validator on the Cosmos chain will already qualify you for an airdrop but Milky Way is another way to qualify for that airdrop and their own airdrop. So what you need to do is connect your wallet address, your Cosmos wallet address, stake your TIA um, on Milky Way and of course this might not be new information for you but I, I need to talk a little bit about how their point system is going to be working so you I add the amount of TIA you want to stake so I have half of TIA left that I have not staked and you would click on stake and that's it once you click on stake you're going to get in exchange for that this amount of milk TIA which is another token now that milk TIA you can do a number of things with them but that's not what we're going to be discussing right now because first I want to explain how the points work. So uh, if you have already milked TIA and uh, they just launched their point system, I think yesterday, uh, they're going to be, well, actually they explain how you're getting points and how many you're getting by doing what. So first thing, if you hold your, your milk TIA, you get more points, a number of points. So they will be taking daily snapshots of your balance and every wallet address with a Miltia balance will receive endpoints. So you, if you have two or three Cosmos wallets, you will be getting Miltia tokens on each of those if you have taken your Tia with milk, Milky Way. Now, um, basically, you will accrue one endpoint for each milk Tia on a daily basis. Uh, there's no minimum amount required, but uh, one more thing you need to know is that they need to be on the osmosis chain so you could actually go ahead and buy the osmosis chain tia milk tia and that will qualify you as well if you don't want to stake tia uh, you can actually just go ahead and buy them outright now if you stake those milk tia or um, add them to a pool you will be getting extra points so uh, you can actually stake them on osmosis livana mars dmx and quasar and even margin. Now, some of those vaults have already filled, so uh, you need to be constantly checking. I use DMEX 
uh, and I have used Mars, but not for Miltia. That vault is already filled out. So uh, you will need to be checking. So let's just say you have one Miltia and you are sticking that Miltia in one of these protocols, then you're getting 2.2 endpoints every day. So the more Miltia you have, of course, the more points you get. Now there are multipliers and they are awarded on a weekly base uh, depending on your ranking. Now, I don't have a lot of Tia uh, staked with Milky Way, so I will probably won't be getting this multiplier, but if you want to do that, then this will multiply your Milk Tia, your points. Uh, and then there's going to be more enhancements. Uh, they talk about campaigns on Zilli, which is kind of a galaxy or an interact. So I will be letting you know once I found, find that out and uh, I check how it works. Of course, I'm going to be creating that video for you guys. Um, if you held Milk Tia before the launch of this points system, you will be getting extra points. Uh, and of course, as every other protocol, there's going to be referrals. So if you click, click sorry, on the description of this video, I'm going to leave a referral link. If you want to participate in here, then that would be getting us both some extra points. Um, and Again, they're going to be running some campaigns that will boost those points. How do you track those points? Basically, you go just up up here where you see the stars. It tells me how many points, how I rank. So apparently, I don't rank too high because I don't have a ton of milk tea. Um, yeah, so I got a total of 71 points. That's basically it with um, Milky Way. Now, uh, lastly, guys, I uh, want to remind you the wormhole airdrop, which is a bridge, interchain bridge, uh, already happened. But guys, uh, layer zero has not dropped their airdrop. And I believe that's going to be happening between March and April, May, May the furthest. So you still have time to farm this airdrop. I have already produced a video and uploaded it about bridges. So I'm going to leave it on the description on the, up, on the upper right hand of this video. So you can click on that and qualify for this. Lastly, guys, I want to discuss one important thing. So my lesson, and if you have not qualified for the StarkNet airdrop, our lesson is it doesn't matter if a protocol or a blockchain has not announced that they will have an airdrop yet. Uh, the fact that you are using that chain or that airdrop, uh, sorry, or that dApp is already work your, your little seeds that you're planting that will grow one day and when that grows it could probably be a huge tree with a lot of fruit so as you know we have already produced some uh, videos about blockchains that have not announced an airdrop that do not have a token yet like ck sync or scroll uh, but uh, you need to start working on that and again i'm going to leave the video link to ZK Sync's airdrop over there because what happened with StarkNet is I wasn't even interested in StarkNet because it was a really nascent blockchain and the protocols were alpha and I didn't want to kind of lose my money. But if I had just sent a small fraction of money over there and just played with that blockchain, probably I would have gotten a decent amount of money. So it doesn't hurt, guys. Um, I'm going to be producing videos about new L2s and blockchains so we can test them, so we can play with them and maybe in seven, eight months or by the end of this year, we'll be getting juicy, juicy airdrops like Outlayer, like Dimension and all those uh, airdrops that were assigned very recently. So if this was useful information for you, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel because we keep talking about airdrops, about crypto gems and about how to make money in the crypto sphere. So I hope to see you in the next video. Bye bye now.